Hi. Good morning, students. This is class number five, the physics and measurement. Okay. Uh, you see this scale. What are the divisions here? The major divisions are centimeter. From zero to fifteen centimeters are there. Okay. The smallest division on the scale is millimeter. So the least count of the scale is millimeter. The smallest length you can measure by using this scale is millimeter. That is why we call least count of the scale is millimeter. Okay. Now we will measure the length of this pencil by using this scale. Okay. Okay. Approximately it is coming around fourteen centimeter. I am writing the length of this scale is 14 cm. Is it okay? It is maybe trivial. No, you may think uh, what is the grade in that. But still it is right. If you write it is 14.0 cm. We should not write 14 cm by using this scale when you are measuring the length of this pencil. Or you, length of anything you measure. But you should not write 14 centimeter. You should write 14.0 centimeter. What makes a difference? 14 centimeter or 14.0 centimeter? Will it make any sense? The length may be same, 14 centimeter or 14.0 centimeter. Some information is lagging in the first one. 14.0 centimeter I am writing means. The least count of the scale you used is 1 millimeter. If you write 14 centimeter, the least count of the scale is centimeter. So, when you are writing the measurement 14.0 centimeter by seeing that number, one can conclude that the scale you use to measure the length is it has least count 1 millimeter. Agree? Another thing 14.0 centimeter equal to 140 millimeter because 1 centimeter is equal to 10 millimeter. So 14.0 centimeter equal to 140 millimeter. You see the number of significant figures. 14.0 centimeter may 1, 4 and 0. Three numbers are there, no? So, number of significant figures in 14.0 is 3. 140 millimeter, you see. 1, 4, 0. There are also three significant figures are there. When you are converting the system, maybe system means millimeter to centimeter or centimeter to millimeter, this number of significant figures has to match. So, 14.0 centimeter equal to 140 millimeter. You should not write 14 centimeter equal to 140 millimeter. That's, that is wrong. Of course, these are very trivial and very simple things, but it makes sense. Many people will forget it. Actually, is it need to write like this? But if you are learning something, you learn it perfectly. What's in that? Okay. Now you got the point. No? What is the importance of writing the number in perfect way? So I am writing the length of this pencil. Fourteen point zero centimeter is perfect. Okay. Now you got it. Now we will go further. So we will round off, no? Sometimes we round off. Round off means what? Rounding off to what? Suppose I am giving further example. I am slightly, you think this is some other pencil. So the division, no, it is 14 centimeter or 140 millimeter. So I'm, you have to write 14.0 centimeter. Suppose it is coinciding with some other, uh, and exactly not with one of the division, in between the millimeter, millimeter the beach may it is somewhere it is coinciding. Then what we will assume it may be 14.05 uh, or maybe 14.06 or 14.04, 
we will assume no because it is not exactly coinciding no so that is why we will do some round off so i will give some examples when you round off in your rounding of the numbers suppose uh, i will give some example uh, some other numbers 3.5 cm i am writing so that is nothing but 3.5 cm is nothing but 35 mm so now it is coinciding within the millimeter no so 3.54 i am writing that 3.54 that 4 is least significant we can round up actually the division is not there no one millimeter only every division is there so 3.54 so 4 is less than the 5 you just ignore it 3.54 equal to 3.5 okay suppose if it is 3.55 3.55 we will round off to 3.56 sorry 3.55 no 3.55 we round off to 3.6 because 3.55 may that 5 is odd number this 5 also odd number so when odd number is coming 3.55 5 you are re removing so this first 5 will be added one so 3.6 one more example I will give you 3. Point some uh, 3 5 is there 3.35 equal to 3.4 3.25 equal to 3.2 because 2 is even number no when even number comes you round off to 3.25 equal to 3.2 only 3.35 equal to 3.4 because 3.35 may 3 is odd number understand so these are the uh, methods you have to follow if number is more than 5 certainly we have to add suppose 3.36 is there so 6 is more than 5 no so 3.36 is equal to 3.4 you can write suppose 3.29 is there 9 is much higher than 5 no 3.29 is equal to 3.3 you can write you are getting no these are simply rounding of the numbers so why we have to follow it will reduce the error understand now you got some idea how to write the measurement what scale you used to and number of significant figures has to match and how to round off okay so finally i will give you some three examples for rounding off 3.35 is equal to 3.4 3.25 is equal to 3.2 okay the rest, if it is more than 5, 3.36 is equal to 3.4, 3.26 is equal to 3.3. You are getting now? Now this is clear. Okay, students, you understand now. Next class, I will teach about accuracy and precision. Okay? Accuracy means what? Precision means what? Suppose you are using the scale just before I have shown no, it has the least count is centimeter. Sorry, least count is millimeter. Suppose if you take Venne calipers, least count is 0.1 millimeter. If you take screw gauge, the least count is 0.01 centimeter. Sorry, 0.01 millimeter. So for the scale, first what I have shown, 1 millimeter. For Venier calipers, 0.1 millimeter. For screw gauge, 0 0.01 millimeter. Suppose these three scales I will use to measure the diameter of a pencil. So in which case the precision will be higher? Okay, I will leave it once again. Least count for the scale, what I used to measure the length is 1 millimeter. Least count of the veneer calipers, 0.1 millimeter. Least count of the screw gauge is 0.01 millimeter. Then which scale will give you the better position to measure the diameter of our pencil? Okay. This class, I have finished regarding how to measure the length, how to write exactly. Okay, so next class we discuss about accuracy and positions. Till then, bye-bye.